Well, joining me now in the studio is Ahmed Rushdi. He is the director of the House of Iraqi Expertise Foundation. Really great to have you um, with me on the program here. I'd like to hear your thoughts. This is the first government since the mid-2000s that doesn't include members from the bloc of Muqtada al-Sadr. How significant is that? Well, it's the first time we show you how much challenges that this government uh, already has. Uh, and it can be summarized on three main issues. Number one is that you have a vicious and a violent people in the South uh, against any uh, uh, political blocs that make a government in Iraq because they are accusing them of corruption and, and doing so many bad things for Iraq, uh, reaching to what's happening now of, you know, so many things, loss of, of, uh, uh, loss of infrastructure, unemployment, and so on. So... Muqtada Sun knows that. He pulled himself from the whole political process. Being with the people, the people will be furious. This government has a second challenge, which is does not have even a profession, ministers. They are all belongs to political blocs. They are unprofessional uh, leaders, unprofessional uh, educated persons, and eventually you don't uh, expect success from them. So what Muqtada is doing is that, yeah, I will stay in with my gra grassroots and let's see in one month, two months, what's going to happen. Mm. The third challenge, which is also being some sort of advantage to Muqtada Sadr, is that Kadami left $85 billion in the hand of Sudani, which happened during Abadi already gave about $40 billion to uh, Adel Abdel Mahdi in 2018. Look what's happened. In one year, Iraq become, has a debt in about $120 billion. So what you can expect from this government is eventually it will not be succeeded. It will be another failure. That's why Mr. Sudani made something very important to be noticed, is that inside his governmental program, Put an item is that we're going to have early election in one year. Mm. That means he's not expecting any success because he's supposed to be have a period of three years. So you can imagine is that Sudani is expecting bad things. I don't think he's expecting to be succeeded eventually. Mm. Uh, and I don't think he's expecting to have some sort of a deal with Muqtada Sadr. Okay. That's why the, the, those, those three issues, I think those three aspects will be invested by Said Muqtada. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of the infighting and the issues that uh, really led to the instability over the last year haven't gone away. When will we know that this government has failed? Uh, when the people will be in the streets, which I think it will be as soon as possible because all the problems, all the crisis that Iraq has, actually it, be, it pushed people to the burden. So if Sudani have some sort of a mag magical formula Maybe there will be no people in the street, but it looks like with the people who he chose for his cabinet, it show you that there is a problem, there is a real problem of choosing people without any mm. proficiency. So what comes next then? I mean, if they can't form a stable government after this, this last year and there's going to be mm. another round of elections, I mean, what, what comes next for Iraq? That's everyone is looking for early elections even the one who is now leaders, they are looking all for early elections. So why they made a government is that the, the, the simple answer is that to get more power, more money, to go to early elections mm. and to get more seats. And that's what Muqtada is doing, is actually instead of going inside the government to take more money and power, he is with the people, power of the people. That means he's looking for at least 100 seats. The, Exact example, but inside the government, that's what the ITAR or the confirmation uh, uh, frame is doing, the pro-Iranian blocs is doing, is that taking more power to go to early election to get more than 100 seats. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine how much is the challenge is, is, is going higher and higher by time. Right. In the meantime, though, what does that mean for the people of Iraq who haven't had a, a stable government in so long and the issues that need to be addressed in Iraq aren't being taken care of? That's why the people are desperate. And that's why there, there was a very big boycott in the, in, the, in the October elections, in the October 2021. It's it, it eventually only 20% of the people went to the elections. It show you how much it is drastic uh, uh, disappointment for the people since 2003. 
And that's why Sudani should work hard because the, I think the superior challenge for himself is that to confess Iraqi people, I can make a change, mm. which I don't think it will be happening in a way or another because, because the one who pushed Sudani to be the prime minister, I don't think he wants him to be succeeded mm. because if Sudani will succeed, I will vote for Sudani. Why I should vote for Maliki, correct? So that's why everyone is looking for early elections to try hard to regain the power and to be in a new era of getting more and more power. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Ahmed Rushdie, thank you. You're most welcome.